a retired Canadian general's address in which he attacked everything, from the removal of historical monuments to government policy about climate change had received a standing ovation from top-serving military commanders in the Canadian Armed Forces last week. The acceptance speech was given by retired Lieutenant General Michael Maisonneuve when he collected the Vimy Award, which was given to him in recognition of his lifelong contributions to military education, assistance for veterans, and devotion to bilingualism in the field of defense. The Vimy Gala lauds itself as one of the most elite formal dinner events in Canada, which connect the defense and security community. It is chaired by Richard Wagner, Chief Judge of the Supreme Court of Canada and Joe D. Thomas, National Security Advisor to Trudeau, and hosted by the Conference of Defense Associations Institute. During the address for the top defense honor on November 9 in Ottawa, Maisonneuve had taken a shot at politicians whom he claimed to split rather than unify their followers. Maisonneuve stated, Can you picture a military commander labeling half of his command as deplorable, fringe radicals and less thans and then expecting them to fight as one? Apparently, the statement has been interpreted as directed to Justin Trudeau or Hillary Clinton, although Maisonneuve did not particularly name them. Trudeau had come under fire from members of the Conservative Party of Canada, anti-vaxxers, people who comment on the right-wing media, and citizens who backed demonstrations earlier this year that shut down border crossings and seized downtown Ottawa. The Prime Minister had referred to the peaceful protest groups who traveled to Ottawa as a fringe minority that had unacceptable ideas and did not speak for the majority of Canadians. In a similar manner, U.S. Hillary Clinton had called the followers of Donald Trump's campaign deplorables and labeled them individuals who had attitudes that were racist, sexist, homophobic, and Islamophobic. Maisonneuve also took issue with a new policy that was implemented by Chief of the Defense Staff General Wayne Eyre. It would be important to know that recently, Eyre had made changes to military dress regulations to include beards and hair coloring, as well as to give women and men more options when selecting uniforms. In addition, Maisonneuve was critical of the efforts being made to apologize to different groups. He expressed that taking personal responsibility for individual actions has disappeared from the landscape, while the phenomenon of collective apologies flourishes in the country, and individuals and groups fight over who gets to wear the coveted victim's cloak. Maisonneuve appeared to be referring to Canada's Minister of Defense, Anita Anand, and particularly Trudeau with this statement. Last year, Anan had issued an apology to members of the Canadian Armed Forces who had been the victims of sexual assault or harassment while leaving out individuals that have been alleged to be involved in such gross misconduct from taking responsibility. Similarly, Trudeau has issued an apology to former students of residential schools as well as to Indigenous communities for the mistreatment and loss of life that happened as a result of the residential school system. In addition, he expressed regret for Canada's decision in 1939 to deny sanctuary to 900 German Jews who were fleeing the Nazis and 254 of them were later murdered by the Nazis. Trudeau also recently offered an apology for the anti-black prejudice that members of the No. 2 Construction Battalion had to face before, during, and for a significant amount of time after the First World War. Additionally, Maisonneuve criticized the decisions made by historical figures when measured by the norms of today. Pointing out that there have already been an excessive number of sculptures taken down, he stated that wiping out the country's past is not the solution. Because of his role in the establishment of the residential school system, a number of municipal governments have decided to get rid of sculptures of Sir John MacDonald in their communities. Similarly, the mob during a women's memorial march in Vancouver earlier this year toppled a monument of John Dayton, a bar owner whom Gastown is named after. The march was held in memory of women who had passed away. Dayton had married a Native American girl when she was just 12 years old but ran away a few years later. During his talk, Maisonneuve said that people no longer see Canada as a nation that takes itself seriously. He stated that Canada's wealth is being sacrificed on the altar of climate change as an alternative to being utilized to assist the world's transition to clean energy, and that it is a missed opportunity to help the world transition to clean energy. Maisonneuve further mentioned that recent actions by activists who have thrown soup and paint at art treasures in order to raise awareness about the lack of action being taken on climate change are as heinous as it is useless, adding that those responsible for the crime should be held accountable, not praised. Maisonneuve equally lamented about social media and the cancel culture, referring the Canadian society as lost in days of entitlement, unending subsidies, and freebies. According to him, it is difficult to locate fair and balanced reporting, and too frequently Canadians are treated to sermons that aren't written by seasoned journalists, but by first-year graduates of woke journalism schools. Meanwhile, despite the fact that active and retired officers gave Maisonneuve's speech a standing ovation and with several compliments from the crowd, some have dismissed it as a description of ongoing difficulties with the military leadership. 
On Twitter, a former analyst for the Canadian Department of National Defense named Thomas Juno stated that the speech given by Mesa Nuve was an embarrassment and a good illustration of the culture of entitlement that has led to the systematic abuses of power in the senior ranks of the military. Juno further noted that there are currently significant attempts being made to rectify these flaws, but Mesa Nuve's address demonstrates why it is so difficult. Similarly, on Facebook, Colonel Rob Kearney said that the Vimy Gala was sullied by arrogance and entitlement and was not in keeping with the humility and spirit of the occasion. Kearney stated that he really hopes that those who have worn or now wear the uniform, both in the past and in the present, will not get the impression that all senior officials accept the hubris and arrogance that was demonstrated, rather than being modest, thankful, and demonstrating humility in such a setting. And while Defense Minister Anand and Chief of Defense Staff General Wayne Eyre have refused to give a remark, Yuri Cormier, the Executive Director of the Conference of Defense Associations and the CDA Institute, has mentioned in a recently released statement that many guests were outraged by Mesa News' speech and his comments do not represent the views of the CDA Institute in any way. Arguably, the bitter truth seems to hurt people's feelings when being stated in an unflinching and unapologetic tone like Mesa New has expressed. And it's just really ridiculous that experienced military officers of the Trudeau liberal government are also embittered about Mesa New standing up at a perfect time and occasion to speak truthfully of the eroding Canadian values and insane behaviors that have continually acted as catalysts of a rapid downgrade of the country's heritage. As outrightly revealed through Mesa News' speech, Canada has a long way to go in its revival process and everyone, particularly across the government sector, needs to do better. That's it, viewers. How much do you resonate with Mesa News' constructive criticisms outlined in his acceptance speech? Let's know your opinion in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Also, share with as many people as possible. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.